All right, welcome to the Bookmap live trading webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Uh, and we'll do, we'll do the live analysis here, Monday, Tuesday, Friday, 10 a.m. It's all forward looking, it's not hindsight, uh, and it's all a part of our free education uh, that you get here at Bookmap. Uh, we had the live trading with J Trader on Wednesday and Scott just yesterday. So before I get into the um, uh, disclosures here, let's take a quick look at the overall market uh, and see what's going on. Uh, as you can see here, uh, we had uh, some sideways action from the London or just from the entire session here uh, from about 7 or 6 uh, p.m. East Coast time. Sideways consolidation, a drop, high liquidity down here uh, on the bid uh, at these areas here. And then uh, we see the, the, the rise up. And then uh, I was actually uh, doing a, in a meeting giving a demo when we saw this move into uh, the, and the bounce out of this area here was looking for a knee-jerk reaction out of this it turned into a reversal pattern instead um, and we'll go over this here like why, why does this make sense here uh, and, and why do we have this move to the upside now obviously uh, we're in um, a, a geopolitical uh, uh, environment here with news and all sorts of things can shift and change immediately so uh, on on the overall though um, this is we see the moves to the upside uh, we're above in terms of structure. See the move back up above here on high volume. Uh, this is the key, right? Understanding the order flow here. Uh, we have all sorts of back and forth, high volume breakout, uh, and then back and forth in this whole area up here in terms of structure. But look at the bid here. Very, very interesting on the bid uh, at these price levels. Uh, we have uh, uh, 42.66. Uh, at 54-ish uh, area area down here, and then also um, 37, and also down here at 12. Um, uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, thank you, uh, Hazard. You're, you're um, helping him out there uh, with Miami um, to get him up and running there. Okay, yep. So may I just click on the advanced webinar? The got it. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Um, all right, so uh, let's go through. Uh, we'll look at the higher time frame as well uh, on the candlestick chart, but we're bullish right now uh, until we see something different. And you know, we'll come back in here um, and, and go over this structure here and what we see within this structure. We're bullish, uh, but uh, we, we're going to we're going to cover it here in, in just a minute. Um, the book is definitely looking good here on this higher time frame. I mean, they, they're lined up here on the bid at several areas above all this price action. See how curious it is to see, for example, structure here, right? Is broken and is broken on high volume. And then they're underneath here on the bid at these areas here. So this is supporting this structure at this moment, right? We know there's buyers here. So uh, pretty pretty nice look here uh, in, the, uh, in the order book. Uh, and uh, and you can see it uh, directly here on the higher time frame, which is you know it's really nice, nice nice feature here with the full depth of, of market um, that you get uh, with uh, with rhythmic and DXV data. All right, uh, let me go through the disclosure here before I get ahead of myself and forget uh, the general disclosure. All bookmap limited materials, information, and presentations are for educational purposes only and should not be considered specific investment advice nor recommendations. Risk disclosure, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. All right. Uh, so the um, yeah, that's our kind of uh, analysis here for the uh, the day at least so far. Uh, I want to step back though and look at our higher time frame candlesticks uh, just to get a sense of areas zones of higher time frame analysis of, of what we think about those zones. This is a really wicked move here on this daily chart. Um, you can see the um, the move or this big huge candlestick to the downside. Um, it's where the market opened. Uh, in the cash session on the hourly in the middle here you can see uh, and then you see it just rocketed all the way back up uh, today so um, uh, in, any anyway uh, yeah some uh, uh, yeah kind of kind of wicked stuff in there um, the uh, huge huge <laughs> wicked, wicked uh, literally I mean like uh, uh, you know here's here's the, the swing low 
Here's the bounce, several days here. Here's the move down below that area, and here's the move back up into the range. Okay, so on this daily chart, we are bullish uh, for this move. Uh, well, boy, for the day we are bullish, put it that way. This is rejection here. Okay, so these are buyers coming in, and we're looking for buyers to continue to buy uh, and move this market higher to where on the daily chart only. To where would be up here would be the first test 43.45, and then maybe the top of these wicks up in here 43.88 or so. Okay, just a retest here. We're in a downtrend. Okay, we're making lower highs and lower lows, but this is rejection for the day. We're looking for a move back up into the ranges here. Okay, that is one of the the scenarios or primary scenario here, uh, and we're not looking for much of a move here. Uh, but just up into these areas because this is where we found sellers before. This is where the, the market rejected previously uh, and moved lower. So we're looking for buyers to come back up and test and auction back up into these areas here. Good morning, Dove. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, so the hourly chart, well, you can see uh, the move up here, okay, up into this volume cluster up here or cluster of activity. Okay, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna talk about even candles in here, uh, in terms of order flow, right? Because that's really what it is. Uh, so what's going on in this consolidation sideways back and forth area, and who won the battle? Well, the sellers won the battle outside of that. The buyers are coming right back into it. Okay, so we're looking for them, to, and there's tons of momentum here behind it. Look at look at the candles. Look at the size of them. Look at the movement here. The quickness of them. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, so can they come back up and test now this 35 area that we we're talking about? Uh, and then we we're also looking at uh, our 80 level, which was uh, 85, right? Somewhere somewhere around up here, actually. So it doesn't really look too good on the uh, on the hourly, uh, that 85 level. But uh, uh, here it is on the on the hourly it would be more like above this 50 level so 50 to 60 somewhere around in here uh, where I drew the line here uh, which lines up rather nicely here we can just make it maybe a little bit tighter here okay so 62 looks like a good area as well somewhere somewhere around there 60 62 uh, and then way back up here uh, as well okay where price dropped from where sellers came in selling pressure and that move that lower and that's what we're looking at here uh, we're looking at tests up into these areas here on the higher time frame uh, and then we're going to look at book map to understand uh, why price might be going up there uh, due to the order flow okay now looking at the 15 minute chart here over on the right okay here's our quick move this is where we opened uh, move back up consolidation buyers come in hand over fist move it uh, back up very very uh, nicely here uh, and then where would we think it might go swing here okay at this kind of 4304 area there's a swing up here and this is our 35 area we're looking at so we're starting to find some sellers already above this little swing right here at 0304 see the wicks over here okay so we're either seeing some profit taking or maybe we're starting to see some selling uh, coming in it looks like profit taking to me we see buyers coming right back in again so we're right back up here at 0102 right now uh, on this 15 minute chart so let's go over and jump it jump into book map and we're looking for continuation here try to get back up above our swing here at, at 12 or 13 and then our move back up to about 35 or it's a zone it's uh, somewhere up here maybe 25 to 35 Okay, where the sellers came in. This is what we're looking for. So strong momentum right now. Uh, and let's see if we can get the continuation. Okay. All right. Now, taking extrapolating all of that higher time frame analysis here uh, in uh, looking at book map. Well, we, we identified the move lower here, uh, the strong buying coming in. Okay, you can even see it right here. Beautiful. Uh, pull back. And then followed again by strong buying and strong breakout here, All right? So uh, now let's look at this price action up here in this rectangle. And let me get rid of the rectangles for now. Okay. 
So now we covered, we're, we're, we're bullish above this area here. Uh, we see a strong breakout. We even see the pullback here. Now, what about the volume within here? And this is our 930 cash open right here. And we see the move to the upside immediately, followed by the move to the downside. But pretty strong volume on the downside here too. So let's just take a look at this structure and start to understand who's in control in this structure. Okay. So where, where do you guys think that, uh, just point out where do you think, who took control and where? Okay, on this time frame, looking at this view here. What do you guys think? Ah, I love it. Alec, you're right in there immediately. Okay. All right. Okay. We got some new guys in here too. So there's lower highs, lower lows. Not, not the answer I'm, I'm looking for. Yeah, that's it, Alec. Yeah, right here. This is where they took control. Okay, so and I want to go over this point here so you guys can see and start to identify where where the sellers and where the buyers are taking control. Okay, you'll you'll see this time and again, and that's why it's so important to understand. Uh, because uh, it, it really is like uh, you were looking for even in this area down here. Okay. Where, where did sellers take control in this time in this view in this time frame here it's a little more convoluted answer here forty two forty yeah that's that's definitely a good one forty two twenty or fifty I'm sorry 55 yeah i also like that I, I like both of, i like all these answers um truly they actually took control i think probably technically the, the best answer would be up here uh, this is where they started to move it away from this uh consolidation in this view here uh, and uh, and start to move price lower okay we see a quick move back up but then they come right back in and you can even say yeah somewhere around somewhere around this 50 level um uh, so let's give it a zone. Uh, so somewhere around this 53 level uh, on down to about 40. Uh, that's the sellers coming in and taking control. Okay. So from this point on, they are in control. Okay. They, they've, they've moved it away from this area here. Okay. So at this point, we're looking for continuation and pullbacks and continuation. Okay. Down into high liquidity here on the bid at 25 and 20, 15 lower. Okay, so uh, looking for that. And uh, now we're starting to, to realize though, okay, some buying coming in here. That's, you know, sellers bring it down, they, they make a lower low. Some buying coming in here. Now look at the pullback. The pullback is equal here uh, in terms of the pullback to this buying here. Now. Let's also take a look at the volume in here. See how this buy volume is above this big cluster here of selling? So we're kind of on shaky ground here. The sellers are a little bit on shaky ground. Uh, they're still in control. Buyers were not able to lift it higher. Okay? And they were not able to get back up above our line up here. Right? So as we go forward, and then it's looking better here. Like, yeah, okay, we got some buyers here that might be trapped volume. We might get sellers down here and they might drive it. And that would be my primary scenario, uh, that they, they they would get these guys on the hook here buying, have a huge red dot down here and drive it into 42.25 and 20, okay, and fill this liquidity down here. Now, that didn't happen. We didn't get the sellers down here. In fact, you can kind of look at it in here and you can look at the volume dots. You can look at your volume bars. And we're just not, we're finding actually more buying down here. Okay. And then a nice little spike up here. Now we've tested this once, twice, thrice. So they're looking to auction above that area. Buyers are. Uh, and get back up into this area. This auction is incomplete here uh, at this level. Okay. And then the buyers are testing it now up at 40, 45 here. Okay. And then they break out above 42.25. 
50 our line here a okay, beautiful breakout here above 50 now it's the figure as well okay so we're starting to understand now the structure and the volume within it and who, who started the control and they are in control until it is broken uh, and we're going to see some stops up here i imagine ah right i didn't have i didn't have my mbo data until later uh, but i'm sure you guys will see some some nice stops up above here <laughs> good morning good morning alan yeah back back in the saddle here um so uh anyway uh do you guys have any questions on that uh understanding the um uh identifying who's in control okay identifying the auction in here the volume and we're just gonna we're just covering right now we haven't really covered the heat map too much we're covering just two elements here structure created by best bid and offer uh, and then the volume within it okay and identifying who's in control first okay now this works on all time frames like i said uh, we can zoom in and look at little nuanced areas in here as well uh, but uh, on this pullback here we have three hits here and we're still up here and we get we get the the extension uh, uh, above this little zone here they're going to back you know come back and retest the control by sellers up here okay and they they the buyers take control above it here okay sellers give it one more shot see how they, see how they they're trying to take control and they drive it down below now this was the this was a beautiful pullback uh, in fact, this is why I, I was in a meeting like, like I was uh, discussing here. Um, and uh, look where this pullback came to. Okay, Not where the overall control by buyers here, but in this, this smaller structure where the buyers took control from this point onward. Okay, So you can see the, the volume in here and the buyers taking it here above that area, this breakout. Okay, The strong buying. And this is good strong buying here. It doesn't taper off at the ends. Uh, it's very consistent. It kind of builds from here on up. Okay, it's pretty good. Uh, so pull back to where they broke out from. And then uh, we return back up. We get more buyers, some back and forth in here, def definitely. Uh, uh, but we still see more buyers. Okay. So this is where buyers took control uh, of the market. And this is where they're really taking command of it up here, above above this uh, 75 level up here. Okay, so we're just identifying who's in control in these areas here. Okay, and we're still sticking with that. Buyers are still in control. Now this is now we're looking for our breakout here right now. Okay, looking for them to hit uh, back up into areas of. And this is where we turn on the the heat map. Okay. Okay, 25, uh, 35, our 35 area. Okay, so a little bit above this liquidity up here. All right, so that's uh, uh, that's how we're kind of piecing this together. Now, the heat map is helping us here in, in, in many ways. Okay, so we have the breakout here at 75. Uh, and then you can see the, uh, uh, you know, they're lined up here. Uh, now they haven't been tested at all we don't know if they're going to stay in the order book but it's looking pretty good and it's definitely what matters so much is not that um they haven't been tested it's what is how does price react to it right this this very very strong demand down here at these levels and and they're bidding up they're bidding up to support this breakout at 75. you can see them all here so we are bullish uh, in this area in here. Uh, and we're looking for continuation. So this is also aligning with our higher time frame. Right? If we go if we take a step back and kind of review our higher time frame, uh, we were just talking about the move back up and testing. Our first test would be up here around this 13 level. It's already been tested. Okay, and we're looking for buyers now above it. Okay, so that's going to be the next breakout. It has, it has to be above this 13 level here, 13, 14. And then we'd be looking for testing up into this selling pressure up here, okay, which is basically around our, uh, it was a zone as well, 30, 35, something like that. Uh, and that's what we're looking for. And here, here they come. Okay, so buyers coming in and now looking for them to extend it. it 
everything looks pretty good so far. Buying looks pretty strong. Okay. Looking for continuation now. Uh, now, what would be really helpful? Because we might we might see another really like you know strong move to the downside here. Get get these guys to 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 buy here. Get them stopped out and down in some of these areas here. So this would be a false breakout. Uh, so what really helps uh, is if we see the heat map underneath. We see that demand uh, at higher levels in here. And we'd be looking for that. And looking for these buyers here that are have taken control to support it. And that's what we're looking for in the heat map here. We're also looking for uh, the targets up in here. Uh, you know, 25, 27, 30, uh, even 20 here coming into the order book. And so... Uh, looking for those areas to for buyers to test these areas here. This is where the supply is. Okay, we're seeing a little support in the book here. Okay, see see the blue uh, underneath here. It's not much. Now we can extrapolate everything we just covered into this move here. It is no different. It's just a smaller time frame. Here's where the buyers came in. Look at the selling. They're coming back, retesting where they bought from. They just retested here, right here, okay? So let's see if we can get back up here. There we go. Now we're looking for the follow through here. Let's see if buyers can get back up to 20. We're looking for support or, you know, in, in the order book as well underneath here. We're not getting much support in here. And the buyer, it doesn't really matter. Buyers are still just carrying it higher. Okay, and still looking for continuation. 25, 27, and 30. Any questions? So identifying like, uh, and, and this works like I said, um, not only all time frames. Um, this works for any any sort of trading plan. You know, if you're looking at patterns, well, understand the context of the structure within your pattern, uh, and then uh, the context of where that volume is transacting within it and who's in control, uh, as well as uh, the heat map. You know, what is the reaction to supply and demand? Okay, still looking for the continuation here. Okay, we're going to get some back and forth. Order book, see how they're supporting it here at 18. Now they just pulled that, so now they're down here. So we might get a pullback to about down here, you know. Uh, let's see. I mean, uh, we're, we're, still, we're still bullish here. Uh, Lucius, can you explain structure a little more? We are identifying who's in control by structure and market orders. That is correct. Yeah. It's the aggressor that moves the market. Uh, we're also looking at, you know, how, how the order book is supporting it. Okay, because when we don't have the order book, we don't, I mean, just look how beautiful this is. It trades right into this high liquidity, kind of bounces around, trades right into this high liquidity here, and then through it, and then trades right up here into, into 20. Okay, now we're getting our deeper pullback into this area here, but but look look where the buyers came in, right? Here they're supporting it. Okay, we noted there at 18 here that they started a pull. So we're looking for them to come down to about here, 16, or we said 16, this is, this is where it was, around this area here. Well, they kind of pulled and added a little bit lower, but see how this aligns with the structure? See where they took control? Now, I, there's all sorts of ways. We'll, we'll just go over this one, maybe. Maybe this example. Okay, yeah, you see it? Excellent. Um, yeah, you'll see this again and again. Uh, you know, it, it, this is just how the market works. Uh, buyers are supporting it down here. They're in the heat map. Uh, sellers come in come in and, and test it down here. It auctions down here. Okay, now there's a few other things to look for here. 
uh, for you volume profile guys. And I know you, there's a lot of them in here. Look at the look at the profile here. Okay. Even before that that happened here. Here's here's your high volume node or your cluster, your volume cluster, right? Right here around 43 uh, uh, 15. Here's your retest to that cluster. So you have a lot of things here going on. Uh, to to look for this to continue on up here and now looking for the breakout. We should get the breakout up here now. Here they come. Okay, so looking for our 25 area here uh, and then maybe 27 and 30. There they go. There's 25. Okay, so now we're aligning here pretty nicely our higher time frame outlook and analysis from the daily, hourly, and 15 minute and starting to look at some of these zones and the reaction to buyers and sellers in these areas here. So here's our breakout. Okay, So looking for them to come back up into these areas here. Now we know liquidity is already up there. So we're looking for it to test into it. Okay, so we got to 25. We're pulling back already. Okay, we should get a bounce off of this node here as well. We should. Okay, that would be the first scenario. Okay, so it's starting to get a little bit of a bounce. They're supporting it here at 20 in the book. That's good. Okay, now what's the reaction here? That's what we want to know. Well, we get some buyers. But, you know, look, look at the buying up here. It's not really the same. Not yet. Looking better. There we go. So now here's tw back to 25. Now these guys are back in the order book here at 25. Now they're starting to pull. Okay, back up here at 25 again. And no, no buying. Very, very little here. Okay, so some back and forth in here. Okay, they're still supporting it though in the order book. That's good. Here we go, buyers, and they're pulling up here at 25. Let's see if they can get above these sellers here now. Okay, I want to see the buyers back up here around 24. If we get them get them up here around 24, they should be able to break out. Here they come. Let's see it now. Let's see it, buyers, right here. Now start buying and then 25 on up to like 28. Okay, that would be the first target on this time frame, on this time frame. Yeah, can't do it. In fact, kind of exhausts out here. And we made a lower high here. And we're seeing sellers down here. So likely you're going to test a little bit lower here, 20 and maybe even 19. So we're reading the order flow up here, looking for buyers. We didn't get it. In fact, we made a lower high. And we and you can see the little red, you know, kind of points up here. That's exhaustion. There are no buyers up here. And it's even a lower high. Okay, let's zoom out though. Let's take a look. Okay, quite a bit of selling coming in here. And it's below the swing. Okay, now they can be on the hook here. And or they can take they can take it lower here. All right, they're going to take it lower. They're going to try to again for 15 here. This look for the look for the move back down to 15. It lines up very nicely with the the, the high volume node here. Our volume cluster. Looking for it. Sellers to test down here. This is where buyers are supporting it. Okay, now. This is the, going to be the second test of this area here as well, here at, at 43.15. So what do, you, what do you guys think of a second test down here? You think, uh, think sellers can, can, it might be easier for them to break through that area?
kind of explore a little bit further. Uh, 1750 was the overnight high. Okay. So, yeah, they've already chewed through that. That's good to know, though. Okay, this is a low volume pullback here so far uh, on the buy side at least there's more more sellers in here then there are buyers here now if the buyers can get back up above it though they can flip this all right so sellers should be able to take this now down in test 15 Okay, they, they've got it. Here they got these these buyers on the on the ropes as well. And let's see it sellers. Let's see if you have it here. Let's see if they they're gonna come in here. Kind of curious here because this is a really strong uptrend, but uh, looking for sellers just to test down here to 15. This is not high probability, uh, but it, it fits. It fits what we're looking for. Selling came in here. They took control at this little area here, and we're just bouncing around in this area where they took control. So up here, buyers need to take control away from it. They're not. So we're looking for sellers to try to retest back down uh, just below the swing and down to, into 15 here. And there it is. There it is. Okay, look at the order book here. See how the order book really helped out there. Okay, we had uh, uh, a, a lot of selling starting to come in, and then the order book comes in and pushes it down into this 15. Okay, so look for these this this dynamic right here. Sellers came in. They it was initiated by the the the, the sellers here. Uh, they traded into this, but then we have high liquidity, 142 contracts on the other side on the offer reaction to it was more selling into our 15 level so in, in fact this should be able to push it through that 15 level okay because we've already tested it once right so this is what i was mentioning here so here's our push through it okay because here is our original test here and we know sellers are in control uh, we're looking for them to test back down to 15 uh, and we also know that they, they already tested this. And they, they are back here uh, in, in the book though, but they've already tested this area here. So they, it's there's a higher percentage or possibility for them to test through it. And that's exactly what they're doing. Okay, so starting to understand these levels again in terms of the uh, uh, the, the order book, the, where the buyers took control. Now, see how the sellers now have taken control below this area here. Okay, so now we have a new market structure. Okay, and this is a reversal pattern. Uh, you can call it head and shoulders, you can call it whatever you want. Uh, but um, uh, just understanding the order flow is the key here. We were looking for buyers. We we're looking for uh, the move up into... Um, well, God, it was 15, uh, 20, and then 25. Then we're looking for continuation to 28 and 30. And we still might get there. Uh, you know, this is uh, on this time frame, though, this is where the sellers started to come in, and we noted it. Okay, we didn't, we, this is where we saw, we were looking for more, more buyers up here, exactly on this move here, uh, right into here. And, and they can't even get up here. They can't even reach this area here, the liquidity up here at 25. And we, we're looking for them right in here. And this is where they exhausted out. Looking for the sellers to come in, they did. And we're looking for a 15 level. Uh, and um, yeah, I can't recall what we said in, around in this area here. 
that uh, we, we knew that we we're looking for uh, the 15 uh, to test. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I said like um, 18 or, or so something around in here, this liquidity here. Um, and, uh, and then, and then 15 would be the next level. Okay. The sellers took control here, uh, driving it lower. Okay. And then, then the, the potential for the move below 15 due to it being retested here. All right. So here we can, we can kind of draw this up. And this is our pivot. Okay, so let's see if we can get. Looks like, uh, uh, and you can see what it even a little bit higher here is better. I, I like this one better, I think. Okay, at 17. Okay, there was a lot of absorption sweep at 43, 25. Okay, yeah, yeah, uh, up here. Yeah, agreed. Stops. Look at the stops. Um, high liquidity. This is where you're going to get your book sweep right here and right here. And here. Yeah, nice one, Doug. Um Lots of stops being triggered. Uh, iceberg on the other side here, not much. God, it's not much even worth mentioning here in terms of icebergs. Um, yeah. Yeah, the icebergs are down down lower. Okay, nice stop run though. Okay. Now look look how we're right back above our pivot lines here. Looking again for see see how we noted the the head and shoulders or like you know the the, the failure and then 15 and then a little bit lower. Well look what look what's happening. Okay, buyers are back in control. Look where they took control again. What, what do you guys think? What level? Okay, and then and where and where do you think price is going to go based on the order flow here it's looking pretty good it's looking real good okay, we might get another pullback and if we do get a pullback where would where would we think the pri price would pull back to most likely okay so 20ish yeah it could it could 20, 20 might, but uh, um, the the first question was um, where where do you guys think they took control these buyers when they came back in, and more importantly, where do we think it's going to go right now? Yeah, that's right, spot on, Alec. Yeah, uh, and Makaka or whatever. Uh, Igor, to liquidity above, yeah, yeah, exactly, yep, to 30, yep, that's, that's the next level here. It's kind of struggling up here. It, it retested 25 here, as you guys can see, it and it traded into 20, or whatever this, what liquidity here at 22, yeah, 22, 23, it's already tested into that. And we see buying pressure above it. Yeah. So yeah. Not, not, again, I mean, this, I I don't know. I I think this this is just it's it's beautiful stuff. Here's the move back down. Here's the move back up above our lines here. This is where they are taking control. Buyers. This is where the sellers took control over here. Now we we know buyers we yeah we can that's a good point someone said twenty in there yeah I I would go with that also here not bad not bad at all so that that could also be your first first area for pullback not bad at all um, yeah so whoever whoever mentioned that I think uh, Alan yeah 
Yeah. So looking for like the first pullback would be around here and makes really good sense. Here's our volume cluster here uh, as well. Okay. Now this turns in. Look at the pattern here. We had a head and shoulders. Now we have a cup and handle, and we're looking for the breakout up into thirty. Yeah, beautiful stuff. Okay, if they can get to 30, we're back to our 35 level on our higher time frame. And there's liquidity now coming in at 35. It wasn't there earlier. Uh, very, very little. Now now they're really adding into the book here at 35. Okay, so let's see the breakout up into 35. Strong buying, looking for it, looking for it. Buyers, they've got control. <laughs> Do you win something like the price is right, Alan? Hey, yeah, you got it. Well, I mean, heck, you know, like, rap, yeah, what you could win is a, a great trade. Wrap, a, wrap your risk, you know, study it, study it, and wrap your risk uh, um, metrics around it. And you've got a trading plan. <laughs> a little tournament for the questions. Yeah, maybe. Yep, still looking for the breakout here, guys. A little bit of ac action here on the bid. It's not really doing much, though, to price. See, that's what we want to gauge is like, see this action here, this high liquidity here. What what does it do? Okay, we're finding some buyers. Okay, they should be able to hit 30 and then through it here. See, that's what we want to know is what's the reaction from this liquidity here. And believe me, it's not just us that are looking for that. This is what larger players do. They're testing the market. They're looking at these areas in here. What? How does the how does the the market respond to this? All right here's our breakout. Okay. Okay, we're looking for that back over here around 25. There's a 10 point move. And cup and handle pattern. Now, again, I, I know you guys are most of most of you are looking at volume profile. And you could be looking at your P-shaped profile here. Same idea, same concept. Uh, it's all really, it, it's all really the same stuff. Uh, so I mean, cup and handle uh, is just, it's just basically strong buying followed by a, a shallow pullback, and then strong buying again. That's it, right? Vo your P-shaped profile is, well, a lot of volume tra transacting up here. Not a whole lot down here. Not a whole lot. Okay, more more volume again trading up here. Especially here, looking good, looking good. And then look at the buyers up here. Okay, ah, let me get. I'm going to get rid of this. Sorry, I was I was demoing this again earlier today. Um, we we have the aggregate as well as the uh, last last transaction. Um, but uh, so okay, so more buying is what we're looking for, and that pressure and this P shaped to break right this is a weak top this is called a weak top in your for your profile guys yeah, i'm sure you know it well um, it's a great great uh, pattern to look at uh, and we're looking for buyers up here right and then we're looking for the extension up into 30 and we're looking for this auction to complete to for it to trade up into these areas it's not completed up here uh, we have an edge up here no one has really tested above it and and really kind of completed the auction here. Now they're doing it, okay? And here's our breakout. All right, so now here's our 35 area. Okay, we're up at our 35 area. This is exactly what we're looking for. Now, let's take a, a, a breath, a deep breath though, and, and then take a look back though. So let's look at our higher time frame, All right? And here we are up at our 35 level. All right, 
This is where we previously found some sellers. What we want to know now in the order flow, are we going to find sellers defending this area up here? Or are these buyers going to try to stop them all out and try to get back up even to, into a higher level up here, which would be this, this swing up here, it looks like. So it would be up here, maybe around 55. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, somewhere around here, 55. So actually, let me, let me drop, drop that a little bit lower here. 59. Okay, maybe, maybe 59, I guess. Somewhere between 55 and 59, it looks like. Okay, the next swings up here. Okay, look look at this 15-minute chart. See the momentum? Okay, pretty, pretty strong buying here. Even with the wicks up here, just above this little area here, we're looking for the continuation. And okay, we got it. And we're still looking for the continuation here. Now we're just being attentive though. This is where the sellers came in. Are they going to defend it? Are we going to get profit taking up here? Likely we're going to get some profit taking. All right, but we can get a, a, even higher here. Maybe maybe this uh, kind of 50, 55 to, to 60 level. Okay, which aligns nicely here. Do you see how the do you see how the way we're looking at this, even this candlestick chart here? And the visualization is just, it's so um, basic, it, or it, it, it just gives us really a little bit of, um, you know, some of the swings, rejection, um, you know, consolidation, uh, uh, you know, just kind of some very basic uh, rudimentary understanding of order flow, very rudimentary. But you can see how we're looking at this candlestick chart in terms of order flow, because it really is order flow when it comes down to it. And that's why a lot of times in the education we're going through many different ways of trading, not just volume profile, because it's all ba it's all derivative down to order flow, even on the monthly chart. Same same concepts, same ideas. Does that, that make sense? Okay, so we want to look for what's going to happen up here in these areas in the order flow. Okay, what levels are you guys looking at in here on this move? And feel free, I mean, don't, you know, feel free, like uh, maybe you're looking at um, uh, some some areas in here, like uh, it might be, you know, a, a pullback to a high volume node or, you know, a rejection off of a, a low volume node area. Okay you, okay, you guys, some of you are looking for a pullback. 33.32, yeah. Okay. 45 to the upside, Jeff. Okay, so uh, in terms of pullbacks, are, are you... Um, where, where are you guys looking? Are you looking at your profiles? Okay, Alec, you're looking for a high volume node pullback, 43.22. Yep, down to this volume cluster down here. Mosaic has got the, is the winner so far. Uh, just the pullback is to this little area here and this buying in here okay, and then we see more buyers coming in so they're still they're still pressing here into 40. 50 is up above here uh and what about we said 58 60 though well i don't see much up there right now it's really the figure here at 50. Hmm. 
All right, so let, yeah, let's take a look at this because like, uh, um, boy, I, I really like this 35 area in terms of a pullback. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I hear you, like this kind of 22-ish area here. Um, but that's just in terms of volume profile. I mean, maybe maybe sellers come in and, and I mean, primary scenario is to the upside. Okay, I, I'm with Jeff on that one. <coughs> primary scenario is uh, a move here to the upside. Okay, uh, looking for uh, buyers to just continue here. The, the momentum's strong, uh, and usually when the mom momentum is strong, we may get some profit taking up here in some of these wicks in these areas like we were, we were discussing here. Uh, up here but when momentum's strong like there's not it's not new selling they just let it roll sellers get out of the way this is this is where we're looking to see if they defend it up here because this is where this is where they came in and dropped it All right we're already above it though okay so we should see some stops already triggered but we don't really see too many Another little little cup and handle here. Let's see if our buyers come in. Looking for the order book here to support this. Okay, this is a very V bottom kind of cup and handle. But uh, so there's 40. 40 is transacted. Yeah, it already transacted here. Okay, and we see more buyers here. Not a whole lot. All right, all right, so sellers are going to roll in here. All right, let's see if they can go right back down to this swing and this volume cluster that we're looking at. Now, the cluster is actually in the profile. Okay, it's in this area here. But let's kind of look at some of the minutia in here and start to understand this. This is where they broke out from. Look at the pullback to where we broke out from here. All right, so here it is here. Here's our breakout. Here's the retest to where it broke from, and here's the retest again. All right, so now we also have some other insight. This is retested here a couple times. Now, it did make a new high. But if we see sellers come back down here and retest this again with pretty hard, strong selling, then we're looking for a move back down to maybe our next volume cluster. Okay, or where it broke out from. It could be this 32 area here, okay, right here. Could also be this area down here at 30. Uh, and uh, yeah, you could even look for a really deep pullback uh, somewhere around this kind of 20-ish area here. Now, in terms of buyers taking control, it, it's really, you know, it, it's above here, 25, right here. Uh, and um, in terms of structure, Right, but the bigger move actually took place down here. Okay, so uh, yeah, so all we did get was a, a move back down, and it we're already we're already seeing the result here. Right, strong momentum and going with the momentum here. Sellers do come down and test about this 35 area. The, this this pullback here or this volume node here, they can't even make it again here, and buyers come roaring back in. Or not roaring, but they're they're they broke it and they made a higher high here. Yeah, they're just not showing up, Jeff. Yeah, the the sellers are just not here. Yep, yep, exactly. Nice. Yeah, you're seeing it. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's it's beautiful stuff. I mean, uh, you know, the uh, now now we gotta we gotta be aware though, and 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 we gotta go through the different scenarios here, and we have to go with the order flow and not have a bias here. Like right now, if if sellers can get back down below this little area here. We're looking for another move back down to 36 uh, or 35, our, our kind of high volume node or cluster in here. Okay, so we're actually seeing some buyers come in again. Now, let's see the move back up to 42, though. I don't want to see buyers so much here. I want to see them up here. And here they go. All right, so here's our, let's see, get back up here. 
And if they get back up here at 42, we should get our breakout up into the 44, 45 area here. Maybe, maybe 48 and 50. So we don't want to see this. We don't want to see buyers here. See how sellers can easily take it, take control below them. Yeah. So now, now sellers could take it here. They, they, they've got it. They, they could take it. They can take it down to 36. And since we already have traded back down here at 35, 36, three times, we're looking for the potential of the break down below that area. And here it is. It's like on, almost on cue. All right. So now we're looking at our potential pullback areas here. Uh, we we, we um, uh, had marked up uh, 30, uh, 32. And we, all, we already talked about this one here. And okay, that's a lot of selling. Right, so we found some sellers here. Okay, any, any question where they took control? Uh, Doug, I, I have to take a look at some of the things to be able to <laughs> respond to your uh, good stuff there, though, that uh, the, the 44 area is SPX um, uh, 4350, uh, noted as resistance and spot gamma AM report. Yeah. Yeah, really great, great stuff. So, again, guys, like uh, Doug is, you know, he's uh, he's looking at his options, uh, option strategies, uh, and then mixing that within his levels. Yeah, good stuff. CBD and Hero falling, ice is selling. Yeah, so now we're finding our sellers. Okay, now we 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 talked about that before this move happened here, as well. Okay, we're looking at this area here. We're looking at this buying in here where we don't want to see buyers, because this is exactly what can happen to these guys. If they're buying in the middle of the range here, trying to get it higher and they can't do it, we look for the sellers in here. Not too many in here. Nice in here though. Uh, better. Okay. But we, we noted it in here. I mean, this is where they'll, they'll just flip, you know, and, and go below these areas here. Again, look who's in control in some of these little areas, even in these little pockets. Uh, and we're, you know, looking at like 30 seconds of data here, but it still holds true. See the, see the buying coming in here? Okay, and they're able to the pull back here, and then they're able to make a little higher high here. Exhaustion here, sellers. Buyers come back, cannot even get through this area here, and they're, here they're on their back foot. See, here they're trying, but they're, they can't do anything. They can't lift it. They, they're not, and they're the ones that need to lift it. So once the sellers can get below these guys, these guys are trapped. You know, and we see uh, some icebergs in here as well. Now, this buying here is what I want to see them, and to confirm that this is a trap, that is trap volume. I want to see the, the stop run uh, to the downside below. Now, let's just take a look at that, where that might happen, where we can anticipate that to happen. So these buyers in here are likely going to pl be placing their stops down into maybe this area down here, these swings. Okay, And that's exactly where our stop run starts to take to unfold down here. Okay, so this is a run of the stops. Okay, so I, I'm only... Uh, going over this this uh, volume here in terms of it potentially being trapped, if I see a stop run. Now now I know, and it's con it's confirmed. All right, so let's take a look here. <laughs> funny funny price action. All right, so uh, we're back up above buyers. Uh, we found our sellers, and now we, the battle's back up to where these sellers dropped it. And we're seeing buyers again. This move here is no different than what we just saw uh, with that cup and handle. So, yeah, there's still momentum in here. Sellers had their day. Uh, if we get enough buyers up here, and we should, right up here at 42, we should. The, I don't see any order book here um, that's going to make it any different. Maybe someone comes in here with very high liquidity and changes the game. But right now, I'm looking for the breakout again.
Okay, let's see if we can get a little more push in the book. Let's see, let's see what the reaction might be to some of this uh, uh, liquidity in the order book. Some some just came in here at 41, okay, not a whole lot, well, 100 contracts, and and we found some sellers. See how see how the reaction is. See how the buyer we found buying pressure come back up and test into it and above it. So we're still looking, there's still buying pressure in here based on this little action right here. So we're looking for our breakout. We're looking for buyers above it and our breakout. 44, 45, 46. Well, nothing at 46, it's more at 48. Okay, they've got it here. Let's see it. There's 44. Stops. Icebergs as well. Not a whole lot, but some. Okay. Selling coming in here. Let's see if we can get our buyers back up above this cluster here. Just above this kind of 41 and three quarters. High liquidity on the bid. Let's see it, buyers, up here. If you've got it, you've, then we're looking for a, a higher high here. And they can't. All right, let's see if one more time up here. Oh boy, this could be a nice move. Let's see it, buyers. You've got it here. If you, if you got all these guys on the ropes here, if you can now move it, and we should see a nice stop run. And they, they didn't show. Okay, one more test up here. Let's see it. Let's see it. They've got it yet again. And again. All right, so now we've got multiple tests up here, and the buyers fail to take it. Okay, so let's see if the sellers now take it down then. All right, looking for them to try to take it down lower to uh, 38-ish just to begin with. And then, yeah, these, these little swings, maybe maybe 37. Uh, if they can really come in, then, then we're looking for the move back down to about 34. Yeah, liquidity coming in around 35. You're out okay sounds good Jeff um, note I mean this is not a trading room right this is an order flow reading room and it's not it's not financial advice it's not a recommendation interesting stuff i mean the, the order book is really kind of funky in here um you know we're we're seeing some stuff in the order book it, it, it in here these little tests in here you, you know we get a lot of information from that and that's exactly what other traders are doing this is why they do this um uh and 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 just kind of test and, and nudge the market around and get a feel for it uh and we can just be bystanders here and let them you know play with their high liquidity in here 500 contracts up here 485 you know and did they get taken oh god yeah look at this look at this and they, they're they're short 462 traded there someone swept the order book to, to to trade with these guys 
So we're starting to see some back and forth in here, right? So larger players uh, battling it out here. Now this makes sense too, that they're starting to kind of test and battle battle uh, uh, each other here. We're getting close to the European close. Okay, buying pressure back up above this area. Now this is key. Okay, so let's see now. Can they continue here? I still like it on the buy side. Let's see if we can get up here though. It's 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 got to be above this area here. This liquidity that got filled here. They're supporting it in the book. What's the reaction though? Nothing yet. Okay, now we got we got some buyers. Okay, they're going to go there. Very very quick move. Okay, but uh, we're back up here. Uh, now, now let's see if they can lift it up into 45. No, not yet. Okay, this is going to be choppy here. We've got, uh, you know, about 20 minutes until that European close. Good trading though, Jeff. Excellent. Yeah, some decent trading up there. Uh, like, like Doug was saying also too, ni nice stop run up into this area here. Uh, and um, uh, yeah, stop, sweeps, high liquidity. Uh, and then Doug has his, he's looking at his options levels, right? The options levels are key. All right, let's see it, buyers. Let's see if we can do it now. They, they, they can do this again and still still move this on up. Um, the, we're, I'm looking for that scenario. Uh, the reason being is the higher time frame here still. All right, we still have pretty good momentum here on the buy side. Now, this is what comes with that huge caveat, though, of like back and forth here at this European close. And it's something to, to you know, uh, we're going to get some volatility and it's harder to trade that. Right? We don't know when and where and how they're going to come in here. But so far, so good. I mean, like, you know, they haven't really done much. So, yeah, primary scenario is playing out pretty nicely here. So looking for now, we're up at our 46. Did we get to 48? 48, 49 liquidity. God, even at 48 they pulled? It was at 48, right? Yeah, yeah, it was up here at 48. Now that they, they pulled, they're up a little bit higher here. So 49, 50. God, layering in here. 52, 51, 50, and 49. Okay, I don't have any other reason to, to think differently here than that this liquidity being tested here. The, the only thing is the timing, timing right here, this European close. But I mean, the order flow is telling us it's going, it wants to go higher. Just that is a big caveat though. The seller may come in here and just say like, I'm out and they just dump. And they'll, they'll sweep the order book like several points. And that's, that's a real risk. You know, we, we never know when that might happen. Okay, there's 49. There we go, there's 50, yay, hit 50. All right, still momentum. There's no reason to think any anything different, guys, still. There's 51.
there's 52 and above look at that flip of the book look at that nice beautiful so above 52 they're supporting it here at least so far let's see if they stay in the order book here and then they're not they're, they pull they pull So they didn't even take the risk. All right, let's zoom out. Let's uh, so we're going to wrap it up here pretty soon. Uh, but I just want to zoom out and I want to take a look at the bigger picture here and what we were looking at and how we started off. Let's kind of work backwards uh, a little bit here. Um, God, it's really it's it's pretty. Um, it, it's, it's even higher time frame. It's pretty. Um, you know, we were looking for. Uh, we kind of started off with. Um, well, we're looking for that momentum. We'll work backwards. We we're looking for that momentum here because we were bullish. Uh, I'm going to start from the. I'm not going to work backwards. Uh, we're going to start from the very beginning and go and then work forwards. I think um, we looked at our higher time frames. Okay, we saw this huge rejection down here, which is actually, you know, market open down here uh, on the, you know, in the in the regular trading hours, uh, and we see this is really really strong move here uh, to the upside. Uh, and um, uh, we were looking for, uh, you know, this, we we're kind of, where was it here, around 10 o'clock. Oh, God, where am I? Yeah, so we kind of started right around here. That's right. So we saw a few wicks already, uh, and then we saw this, this um, candle here. Uh, it was kind of down below here, but it's like, well, you know, makes sense there's some wicks up here um, but uh, the momentum is strong and we already saw some some buying coming in here on this 15 minute candle so we're looking for them to retest this 11 to 13 area here to retest it and then the, if they can still get momentum here we're looking for our kind of 35 area up here because that's where sellers were and looking for some profit taking up there looking to see if sellers try to defend it up here well, we got our answer. They they didn't really. Uh, we got the the breakout and the continuation. So we're looking for our next level. Okay, and now we can jump over here to the hourly chart, and we can look at that. And that next level's up here, somewhere around 55 to to 60, somewhere around there. So that's what we're, we'd be looking for. Okay, the retest back up into here. This is very strong momentum here. And there's going to be a lot of stops up here. People are going to, you know, in their swing trades and whatnot, uh, you know, they're going to be placing their stops up here. Uh, but maybe we, maybe we, we, this is it. Maybe we get as far as up here uh, and uh, we, the, the sellers come in here and start defending it hard. And that's what to look for, though, in the order flow uh, in Bookmap. Uh, you know, if this can continue with momentum, you're looking for on the daily here, uh, back up into this kind of 89, 85 level, something like that. And this swing up here, okay, it make, makes good sense. Uh, so uh, uh, I kind of really don't see much on the hourly chart there. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, the the hourly, I'd be looking for a bit, bit higher, um, 44.42, kind of maybe around 40, 44.15 or so, but. Uh, anyway, so we were looking for that continuation uh, and momentum, and then we went over the order flow here and understanding structure and volume within the structure and noted that there was more where sellers took control here, uh, where they were tested, and where buyers took control. We get the retest back to here where they... They broke out on two different time frames, so this is, maybe can be a little confusing, but it's pretty straightforward. Okay, the selling the selling came in in this area here. Okay, we we noted it uh, where they dropped it and took control. We see buyers taking control above it here. We get one more retest, but the retest is where they broke out from this smaller range here. 
So here it is here. Okay? And then we get more buyers back up here. So we're looking for the continuation. Okay? Or at least for buyers to at least trade sideways between 50 and, and 70 in here. Uh, and this is where the buyers came in and lifted it again above. Uh, and 75 here is where they took control. Okay, so starting to understand the structure and, and the volume and also the order book within that structure because the order book is showing us a lot here. Uh, the, on the bid here, they don't even come back down and test it and we're still getting buyers here. That's looking great. Okay, it's the aggressors that move the market. And then look at this. It's just a beautiful book. Um, it, it, you know, uh, layering in high liquidity on the bid here, more demand at these levels here. And we already know buyers are in control here. Okay. Some selling does come in here, right? It's pretty pretty strong. Uh, we don't even get a retest to this kind of 75-ish area. It doesn't even come back down there. Uh, and then we saw the buyers come back in again. We're still bullish. Our higher time frame, we're still bullish. Our lower time frame, we're looking for that um, move back up into 12 and 13. Uh, it did it. We got a pullback here. And then we're looking for that cup and handle pattern like uh we saw that this this was our our um our kind of head and shoulders reversal right and we we noted that the seller's taking control on on that lower time frame okay and then we drew up these lines in here where they took control and then we know that this is the pivot point buyers back up above that area now we're looking for that move back up into our 30 uh area then continuation, just we know that there's momentum in here on that higher time frame. Looking for a 35. Okay, and then nice move up into about 42 and 44 here. Huge, huge selling here on this pullback. But even even the, even with this huge selling in here, uh, you know, we looked at some of these areas where they may pull back. And that's that's where they went. They went to this liquidity here at 30. A little bit lower, maybe even 27 here. Okay, and yet again, buyers back up above all of this selling in here. And looking for that breakout. Okay, and we're still breaking out. Looking for our 60 level now, guys. Looking looking pretty good. Um, anyway, uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, a 10 point move here can happen any at any time jeff is a good point uh the geopolitical stuff in here we never know right uh what, what might happen what might unfold uh we've got to be careful uh and uh look that's just how it is like you know if you want reward you got to take risk and you have to be able to manage that risk and and that's just essential that that is like the primary or kind of uh a rudimentary um uh, basis here of trading like you ha you have to take the risk okay? R risk reward uh, and uh, you have to manage it okay and then look to the order flow here uh, and some of these ideas and concepts here uh, to uh, you know consider uh, and and really what's important here uh, and this is our education our book map education uh, but uh, what's important here is to consider um, Understanding these concepts at a deeper level and doing your own studies. Okay, once you've done that, uh, then uh, now you have something. And now you have expectations for it. And you can look for these things. Instead of looking for it and taking a knee-jerk reaction, and just going, yeah, I know this person looks at that or that, and I want to trade like that, and boom, and you do it. Uh, that, it, it really... It, then it's not going to work a few times and you go, like, eh, you know, I got burned on that. I don't want to do that anymore. Uh, and then you'll do the next one. All right. So like, you know, we go through many different concepts in here, but someone like um, a J trader, such a simple, like one of his strategies, a, a, a core strategy is just so, so simple. Uh, but he has utmost confidence in it. He's looking for pullbacks to his moving averages. He already knows the stock's moving. So he's just looking for the pullback to the moving average. And he's got tons of numbers to uh, give him insight and confidence uh, into that trading strategy. Okay, So uh, same same ideas uh, here. And uh, uh, then build that out. Build your own confidence 
uh, and then now you've got something and now now you've you you've got a trading plan um all right so let's see uh do we make it to see yeah we even made it to 60. wow all right guys well anyway we've got our european close coming up um and um uh, I don't know where to go from here. At Sixty, like it's the same same ideas. Like you know, I'm I'm expecting some selling to come in here, uh, at this point. Uh, but uh, uh, and looks like I'm looking for some defense um, by the selling uh, up at this area here, uh, and I, I imagine we'll get some profit taking as well uh, up in this area here. Uh, so you know, and we got our European close here. Uh, we cannot though deny this is a strong move here. Okay, up into these, up into where there was selling previously, though, right? So, uh, but we we want to look at the order flow. Same ideas around this level up here now, because that level has been has been reached. Uh, so, uh, uh, you know, are we going to get uh, uh, you know back and forth between like this kind of forty three twenty and and sixty level just the, for the rest of the day? Uh, maybe, you know, are, do we have some sort of geopolitical event and look for the order flow and 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 uh, maybe the move back up into, uh, you know, 4,400 uh, somewhere up in here, okay. 4,415 up in here. Uh, anyway, guys, some ideas uh, take a look at here. Um, all right, we'll uh, we'll wrap it up unless there's any uh, last minute questions here. Okay. Now you know. Also, your volume profile guys. Like, look at your uh, your profiles in here and match it up with order flow. Some of these concepts we're talking about, because just going off of the profile is really it's like um, it, you're using like a, a sledgehammer. Uh, when you look at some of the details in here and match that up with your your profile, man, now you got something. You know, really understand. Uh, like in here, you know, they took these these sellers on here. These guys went right after it. Uh, and uh, traded into them and through them so we're looking for the move higher okay well there's your pullback to here right to it in fact 43.50 and we're looking for buying pressure above it great you, you just you just made this this idea of a pullback to this um, uh, cluster of volume here much much stronger and more high probability yeah you, re you really got something then uh, and uh, you know, go back and take a look and re and restudy. Play it, play it in replay mode. Uh, get an idea. All right, guys. Well, thanks for coming, everybody. Uh, and we uh, have a good weekend. Uh, we'll catch up. We'll do it again um, Monday, Tuesday. Well, every day of the week. Uh, but Monday and Tuesday, I'll be doing the uh, forward-looking analysis. Wednesday is J Trader. Scott Bolsini is Thursday, and then I'll I'll be back on on Friday again. Uh, now. Um, as you guys know, uh, Tom B, uh, he, he, we're going to pass the baton right over to him. Uh, he is up next and uh, usually comes in somewhere between when this webinar ends and uh, and 12 uh, East Coast time. All right, so, uh, yep, look for the continuation here of the education uh, and uh, uh, enjoy. Yeah, yeah, have a good weekend, everybody. Okay, thank you. All right, take care. Bye-bye.